Okay, so where we left off last time was we created um, what you're looking at right now, which was a background uh, fixed uh, position for an image uh, using uh, CSS. And uh, so what we're going to do right now is I'm just going to um, show you quickly how to uh, create a semi-transparent uh, or change the opacity of the background of a div tag um, that we're going to use to wrap some uh, text with. Uh, to give it a cool um, effect so that you can see the content on the page um, but uh, as well as the uh, background image. So let me show you how to do that. It's really easy actually. So I'm going to pull up uh, the CSS uh, style sheet we were working with before and uh, basically the right here you'll see the wrapper is the div tag that's wrapping all of this content. Uh, here's the opening of it, the ID, uh, ID wrapper and uh, here's the closing of it right here. So um, I'm, that's the um, property I'm going to want to change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to have a background color. Because first you want to set your background color. You can change it to whatever color you want. In this case, I'm just going to change it to white. Okay. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, as you can see, you can't see the background hardly except for the uh, padding, uh, excuse me, the margin that we have up here and to the right. Um, and since the text is white, it's white on white, you're not going to be able to see it. So let's go ahead and fix that up. So let's first set an opacity um, for this uh, div tag. And change the opacity to, let's change it to 0.6. Close with a semicolon, and uh, when we do that, we're still going to have um, we're going to it's going to be about halfway transparent, about sixty percent transparent. So I want to set the uh, color of the text to a darker color. Let's go ahead and save that. Upload that. Back to our page. And as you can see right here, we have um, you can see the background image um, in the back, and um, you can see that it's in its fixed position still. And you can see the div wrapper uh, that we just uh, set the, uh, set the uh, CSS rule for is uh, semi-transparent. You can see that the text is now dark, um, but it's taking up the whole screen. So let's give it a width of let's say 800 pixels. Okay. Now, as you can see, um, it's it's not centered, but it, you know it's all, it's set off to the left. But um, as you can see, uh, here is our content right here. This is the uh, the div tag um, that we've set the semi-transparent uh, property to. Excuse me, rule. And um, as I scroll down, you can see that the page, the background image is still fixed, and the div wrapper is uh, is um, moving up and down and that's pretty much it. It creates a really cool effect and um, this is a really neat way I like to build uh, web pages because let's say you run an entertainment business or um, a model uh, a model agency and you want to put a, a big picture in the background of one of your models or something that's you know a, a big image you can set that image and uh, not not um, uh, get in the way of that image too much or um, obstruct the view of that image uh, by placing a uh, semi-transparent div tag on the page and adding your content to that div tag. Um, so that way you get the benefit of seeing the image um, in the background um, and you don't you don't only see part of the image, you get to see the full image, it's just some of it's a little bit cloudy because of this uh, div tag. 